Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to lecture 3 and we are going to be uh, doing a lecture on TrackIt, another corporate level ticketing system. You guys see BMC in here, BMC mean they are from the same company as Remedy. Uh, I guess maybe they were bought by BMC now. So, or maybe BM Remedy bought them, I don't know what happened, but BMC is also the one that is running Remedy. But Remedy and track it now they they kind of work the same way the, the they, they look the same way so if you learn track it that mean you learn remedy too pretty well pretty well because they have pretty advanced stuff in here and if you learn that you know, you're basically you will learn the ticketing system pretty well so uh, let me see if the resolution is nice okay so what you do is you go to demo.trackit.com for this lecture and then you will see the screen and all you do is click on login so when you click on login you see the screen the main screen pops in and it will show you the the ticketing system all the tickets in the system again it's the same concept priority levels date entered summary just like in service now you see all this stuff seen so in service now they named it INC incident numbers <coughs> or REC request numbers and in this one they, they uh, named it by numbers like this and in Spice Rush, they are named a ticket number. So all the concept, each and all the ticketing system are the same. So all the concept is basically the same. So in this one, when you um, want to see a ticket, a uh, quick view of ticket is when you click on this little plus sign, you will see the notes from this ticket. <coughs> now, if you want to open this ticket, all you have to do is click on this open link. And so on the left side, they have all the information of where to assign, what's the status of the ticket, requester, asset, priority level, um, and on the bottom you have some more information. Mm, and you can basically uh, change the lookup mean. You can change this stuff. You can either delete this whole custom field and just leave these two on the top, or it doesn't matter how many you want to add here. So <clears throat> mostly for your job is just these two, the first one. We're not worried about billing and all that stuff. So all you gotta do is just come here and assign the ticket to this person, technician or uh, other technicians. You'll come and see it right here. Mm. So and then you create all the notes. All you do is add the notes, and it will add to the notes right here. It keeps all the notes on the, on the right side of who did what. Um, so it's pretty cool system. Track it is also it's not bad. I mean, I like it, um, but. I like service now much better because they're they're more it looks like their system is more well written uh, in this one it might be better but I don't know uh, well <coughs> other thing I forgot about the last two ones that attaching uh, attachments to these uh, ticketing systems so when you click on attach you can attach anything to this the same request so if I go to documents I don't have any documents here pictures Let's see if I click here, I click this, here, and then I click this attachment. So when I did attachment, it just uh, it's added that attachment right here. Okay, this is how you attach. Uh, and so whenever someone, now if I close, if I save this ticket 1307, and I go back to help this, and 1307, I drop it down, and I'll open it again. I see this attachment right here. I'll close it right here to make sure I just open it one more time and you'll see that attachment you click on that attachment and you should click it right here and let's open that and it'll start downloading that attachment on the bottom so you can see or anyone that is this, this ticket is assigned to they can see it. change the status from here you can change it from here you can do other stuff add assignment you can send it as email to another technician you can send it on mobile or you can assign stuff from here basically the same stuff that you can do so if I click on close and if I go back here this ticket should be closed now so this is how you do uh, your uh, tickets and, and it, it has a nice way on the bottom it gives you description so so in a track it the, the cool thing I, I like about it is the whole description like how, how quickly you can see without even opening it once you open it another thing you gotta open it and close it and all that stuff but here, see, like you do this, and you see all the notes here. But you see the main description on the bottom, so you don't you you don't even open it if you have something that needs a little bit 
less attention and you're not worried about it you have to do the higher one first you click on this one oh I want to do this one first then you might want to go in detail so it's a I like the the quickness of this tool that how because you know in health this as a ticketing uh, a person who's going to be controlling tickets or or tickets um, uh, the more time you can save uh, that and I'm looking for that more than anything else because when you do little stuff like password resets people call you and then some some of the things get really annoying if your system is you have to go through a lot of stuff to solve one problem then that means you're, you're just it's like mental thing you have to like you have to like think about it you have to like open it and you stay there oh I gotta close this before I do anything else so here is uh, I like this thing about track it that they have a very quick way to do things you can change your V panel and uh, from here or from here uh, other thing about this one is uh, that the search is like if for example I want if someone call me uh, to uh, and they have the ticket just like we did in the service now they have a ticket number 1304 the good thing about this when you type 1304 and you search about it it will open that ticket right away you see that so assign 1304 just open right away um, that's a quick quickness again and it looks like track it was really working on somebody had a request to them that please make something that you, you can open a lot of things quicker so um, you go when you go back to help this you click on help this again here uh, and if you want to create a new ticket all you got to do is click on a new work order and let's see what the other have they have so if you can you can go on the top here and you can do other things right here uh, quick way to do is to open this way is right here <coughs> and all you can do now it depends on what they name it this is name work order but in a remedy or real tracking system you will have an incident number like new quick tickets and stuff like that but they all work the same way <coughs> so when you click on that you can do the same thing we did in a, in a service now requester uh, you, you type all that information and then uh, as said you can basically type whatever you want to and all and put a priority level you, you can put a priority level like high or medium whatever so you see this is the same thing that we're doing again and again in ticketing system and now at this lecture you'll be like okay I'm learning the same things this was it if you if you are at this point that you have learned if you think that oh this is all the same thing then you basically learn the ticketing system you have learned to create tickets you have learned to assign tickets and I know I'm saying this again and again but this is the most this is the part that I'm teaching here and the most important thing when you go to um, these resumes and when they they have these uh, requirements for you um, then you basically need that create internal knowledge based articles and update ticket information so see that this is another resume that is asking for the same thing that I was doing right now and this is one of the technical skills you need to get the job if you don't have this and somebody else have it you're not gonna get the job very uh, less likely you'll get it and they will train you but most of the things these are the things that they will be looking for uh, for desktop support uh, I'm going to end my my training over here um, and um, if the, the 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 good thing about this training is that I'm going to be this op this is an open course so for example if you um, if you have if you're having a if you have if you know the another ticketing system that you want me to uh, do a demo and this course will be always open to you as a member so I'll be adding more and more stuff in here for ticketing systems uh, and maybe we'll go in advance and kind of like a little bit more reporting and stuff in in, um, in future videos so once you pay for this course basically you're in this course and this will be always getting updated and um, I wish to make this one of the best ticketing system course uh, so I have everything in this one but thank you for um, being with me in this course if you have any questions um, uh, my email address is dandestopsport at gmail.com or you can send me as a message in an instructor uh, send the message to instructor and I'll check the message or you can use the announcements on the site and you can also use that uh, but thank you very much and I'm going to write the end of this course and I hope you guys learn the ticketing system uh, very easy stuff but once you get the point of it after that it's only you you just you can go to any demo and work on it and um, basically um, uh, master the skill before you uh, uh, go to any other job thank you so much for watching uh, have a great day and see you guys in the next videos Bye.